So here's what you have. They're trying to tell us that maybe Oswald wore gloves. He wore them Prince gloves. You know, Prince had some pants with the ass out. Well, Oswald wore some, uh, wore some gloves with the palm out. That's what Oswald did. Look at that white girl got a fat ass. I don't see that shit. You better come to Dallas, boy. But anyway, so Oswald wore gloves that had the palm out. That's what happened. And we're supposed to believe this? Again, I have no problem with the person that tells the lie. I have a problem with the people who believe the lie. Hey, what's going on, bro? <laughs> How you doing, bro? You right I'm doing pretty good. You come to check up on me and make sure ain't nobody beat me up. <laughs> oh, good. Well, thank you, bro. Right, bro. We'll see you. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all see that? DPD done rolled up on the boy. Tell me I ain't real. When DPD roll up on you, boy, talk about some, hey, I'm watching you right now, dog. That's what I'm talking about. Say something. He's not a celebrity. Okay. All right, then. The police roll up on me just to say what's going on. <laughs> say something. Go ahead, say something. Say something. They make your feelings hurt. You know what I mean? You know, I'm going to cut this out when I get back to the hotel and put it up just to make niggas mad. Y'all mad at that guy. Everywhere he goes, there's someone that know him. Every other city I go, every other video, no matter where I go. You know, I'm black still, so when the police first pulled up on me, I was thinking, oh shit, they all owe child support. I don't know why I was thinking that immediately. Oh God, I'm finna go to jail. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought. And I said, wait a minute, I don't know child support. That's messed up. I was thinking that. But he pulled up. And it made me. <laughs> I was like, oh God, I got to get in the car. Yeah, so I said the cop was cute. His name was D. Robinson, if y'all want to look him up. That's his name was D. Robinson. Apparently, that's what he do. I was scared, though, for a minute. I said, God, dog. I don't have no baby in Texas, do I? I said, well, I don't be knowing. I'm out, I'm a, they, my nickname is Tommy Appleseed. Every other city I go. And let me tell y'all something. You know what's cool? These cops don't mind letting you know who they are. How many of y'all notice that? None of these cops mind letting you know, hey, I listen to this dude. Because we got to start supporting our, our boys in blue and our military men. And I'm going to keep saying it. I've been saying it since I started. I was a coon for saying that. I was a coon for saying that. See, I, what I don't understand is why people are mad at the Jews. I've never understood that. Why would you get mad at somebody who's smart enough to use their leverage? I think that's where, like, me and David Duke, like, we, we disagree at that point. Like, he'll point out that the Jews own this and the Jews own that, and I'll agree with him. But how is that bad? Do y'all understand? Black folks, y'all don't need to get behind that Jews own this, Jews own that, so we need to take it from them. Y'all need to cut that out. Don't you understand that that same train of thought was used to take away Black Wall Street, Roswell, uh, uh, Rosewood, excuse me. That same train of thought was used against you. you you're getting too up. Think about the word uppity. Where does that word come from? Uppity comes from the idea that they don't want you to have certain things, that they don't think you should be able to possess something, especially more than them. So common sense is you do not go around and, and look at yourself or look at some Jews and just get mad at them. Yeah, those Jews own banks. Yeah, those Jews, that, yeah, you own them yourself. If owning a bank mattered that much, then why don't you go own one? Hey. That dude, dude pushed me on the sidewalk. He's like, I ain't moving. You move, but 